Hey everyone, this is uh, take two on my mixed media canvas. I'm so tongue-tied tonight and I can't remember the names of things, so bear with me please. Um, I started this one off with an 8x8 canvas from Michaels, and um, it's one of the thick ones. So I usually use the thin ones, but I wanted to give this a try. So um, I started off with a layer of gesso. And then I added in some crepe paper, as you can see just down in here, the texture from the crepe paper. And then I put on a doily here that I got from the thrift shop, it was uh, 79 cents. It was just a uh, old beige looking, kind of tattered, so I put the whole thing down with gel medium. And I added in some of these paper leaves, this is from Michael's Dollar Fifty Bin. Um, kind of pulled the color out from them, and it kind of went over everything, but I brought it back down with gesso again and there's another one down in behind the birdhouse there and one up here so I put all those um, there's also some paper doilies you can just see right there that I gessoed down or sorry gel medium down and then I did a layer of gesso over everything I added in this tin tape that is embossed um, on the cuddle bug with a tree tree bark embossing folder um, that idea I got from Miss Liberty 25. She does a lot of grunge looking. Um, really liked that. So I did that with the gesso and then wiped some of it off to get the uh, silver look. You'll see there's a couple spots of um, washi tape. It's just some Michaels one that has the music notes on it. And I did some, there's some more doilies and some stamping pretty much throughout with the script stamp. Um, and once everything was gessoed, I did a lot of coloring, spraying with uh, Glimmer Mist. There was a bubblegum pink, denim blue, and then after that I kind of wanted to make it darker because it, it looks pretty white, but it is does have a lot of color on it when you see it in real light. Um, afterwards I wanted to make it a little bit darker, so I took some black spray. <laughs> And that made it really, really dark, so I kind of um, took paper towel and dabbed it off. But you'll still, you still see some black in there, which I actually like that. It was good. Because the, the picture itself was kind of dark, so I wanted to add in some other colors. So once the background was all done, then I started layering my embellishments. Uh, I started off with some um, bloomers trim. You can see inside I put some rhinestones. Um, this is just a little metal rose from a piece of jewelry that I had. Cut it off. This is an I Am Roses that I colored with Glimmer Mess. And then these are from uh, Hobby Lobby in the States. The um, little gemstone uh, sprays. I just cut them up. This is a Melissa Francis crown from my stash. It's an old one. <laughs> and some more rhinestones. And I pulled it all the way around the corner. So there's stuff wrapped around. And then I kind of bordered the top and the bottom with the, the black rhinestone trim. I love that stuff. So then over here, these are quite a few things from my stash, the Life's Moments. Um, it's a little uh, plaque. It had the holes for the brads, so I added in the rhinestones. Um, that metal butterfly, it's pretty old for my stash. I can't remember where it came from, but and the I Am Roses, the black rose, I just sprayed it with the uh, Glimmer Mist. And then down at the bottom here, this is a Recollections Resin Birdhouse. I did cover that one with gesso also because it was like a dark brown color. And then when everything was on there, I sprayed on top. And then more spray. And the trim, and you can see inside I did some rhinestones in the middle. Um, I did add some color with my um, Tim Holtz Distress Stains to give more color back into the the leaves and then I just rubbed it with my finger. This one here, um, this is one of the Prima wood pieces. Um, I did actually kind of break it in half so that I can have the other piece to use on something else. And these wings are from Tim Holtz. And I glued on top of this key and this is from the Michaels $3 section here. It was a package with like five or six keys in it and that was the smallest one. It's got like a little crown on it. I really love the way that turned out. And then some more of that jeweled spray and an I Am Roses flower. 
And of course my cutie pie Madison when she was little and adorable. <laughs> so that is it. Really love the way it turned out. I'm going to have to um, get another canvas now and do one up for Jonathan. Maybe in some different colors. Make it look a little boy, boy grunge instead of girl grunge. Alright, so leave a comment, subscribe if you wish. Uh, have a great day. Bye!